It's Lost and Found LE, our first map. Big surprise. <laughs> Spawning in the upper right. It is our orange Protoss from Blazer. It's the Omech. And in the lower left from Sloth Esports Club, it is our pink Zerg, Bioice. Okay, so we've kind of uh, followed Bioice's journey through this tournament bracket today. Yep. Got a Pylon Scout coming out of the Zeo Mac. Interesting. Uh, didn't he do that versus. He just likes to block the hatchery and be like. <laughs> oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh! Well, didn't quite get there. You missed it by that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just gonna see the Acro games, okay? Mm hmm. I don't Looks know. Zamek like hasn't cheesed yet. Did Bioway's drone scout in the previous CVPs? I don't think so. I don't remember no. seeing it. It's kind of an yeah. interesting little deviation there. But what is there to see? I don't know. It sure wasn't like... Hmm. There's nothing really that you're going to see that's going to surprise you. Yeah, I don't know. Unless he knows Zeomech better than... Right, yeah, maybe do. maybe Zeomech has a bit of a reputation? I don't know. Interesting, though. This is just uh, played as a best of three, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, best of three. This is the finals. Single Elim, there's nothing else. Yep. It's all or nothing right this here. This is it. Ladies the winner events. takes the grand prize of five dollars. Hey, that's <laughs> uh you know, that's a portion of a pizza. Is it? <laughs> is it though? Is it though? Like this, in this day and age, isn't that like a quarter of a pizza? Depends where you live. I, yeah. And even a quarter is a portion, right? Notice I, I was very yeah. careful with my word choice there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, a, a penny is a portion of a pizza. Unless you go to like, like a like a the grocery store and get a frozen pizza for four dollars, uh -huh. yeah, I guess then you're, you're good. <laughs> Clown boy in the chat says it's a Little Caesars pizza. He's not wrong. You're right. The <laughs> hot and ready, like the five dollar yeah, five dollar hot, hot and ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. Uh, quality. <laughs> You're like, you know what, guys? I just played some hard StarCraft. I'm gonna go get a hot and ready pizza. <laughs> oh no, the edit spawned on the wrong side of the game. Yup. That's annoying. One. That's oh, like where'd they add a pro kills? Add oh my gosh. Add oh no. Oh, disaster. You, would, you know what? Uh, Zamek was microing the shade in yeah. Arwise's main, mm -hmm. and I think he just assumed that the adept wasn't going to be a jerk and and turn yeah. around, and because uh, it was a move, but like since the lings are a little bit faster, mm -hmm. they just when they go far enough away, the adept gets out of leash range for a move, and it's like all right, we're done. Turns around, right, 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 yeah. And I mean, there are there are four kills on that adept, but none of them are workers, right? So that's uh, yeah. not what you want in this scenario. Seven, eight. Oh my workers. god. Absolutely brutal. Whew. Notice Zeomech takes those gases in full view of the lings. I actually kind of assumed um, from how this went that those would immediately be cancelled and um, and a charge lot all in started after that many worker kills. <laughs> but apparently that's not the plan here. Huh. That's too obvious. <laughs> like, you think it is too I guess at this point I, maybe no, it is. No, I don't know. I don't know what he does. I guess he's like, alright, that was bad, but I'm still gonna macro. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Maybe maybe an all-in like that isn't in his portfolio. I don't know. That but certainly he didn't even could have be. A Twilight. Yeah, yeah, I guess not having the Twilight made, like it it almost uh it would take so long to get it done, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I still think workers even, but I think Zeomex should be ahead by ten. He's just lost a lot of workers already. Hmm. So the robo here, that yeah. scares me. 
<laughs> well, I mean, just the way it's positioned, right? It, it exactly. juts out so far and gives a lot of surface area. Exactly. Like if it were if it were kind of on the other side of that, uh -huh. but, uh, yeah, tucked in a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like if this oracle doesn't show up here, I, I'm fully sure that that robot just mm -hmm. dies with these links. Oh yeah, absolutely. In fact, maybe he just yolos on those more links. Yeah. Does he yolo? Does it? It? No. No, I don't. He wants to. Yeah. No, I don't think you can, though. I mean, at this no, point, the, oh, the prism gets out either way. Yeah, all right, I'll take an adept, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. It's the drone. The probe, he's like, no, you can't expand. Not while I'm here. What are you going to mm -hmm. do? Are you going to micro, like, your prism with one zealot? No. Yeah, exactly. And here's the... Uh, he keeps forcing the oracle to turn on. Uh-huh, yeah. And and notice he's not committing either, right? Like yeah, it's yeah. you know, hey, turn your oracle on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Exactly. Like he just forces it to turn on. And now if it turns on again, it's got what six seconds? Less right. Seconds? And and look, he's gonna get it. He's got it. Robo. Oh, that is so painful as a Protoss. You could have saved it one more time with the oracle. Yeah. But it's it's that scenario. Like, all right. Wow, guys, Zeomech didn't save his Robo. What a bad Protoss player. No, no, he's not a bad Protoss player. He's really quite a good Protoss player. But yeah. like the reason that he didn't turn that on is because he's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to lose a Robo, and that's, that right. sucks. But like, I don't want to lose the game. I don't know if you're making more wings. Yeah. I don't want to save the Robo and then have you show up with more stuff and kill yes, me. Yes, exactly. Like, the, the value of the Robo is not worth the value of that Oracle energy in that specific moment, in that situation. And, and actually, I respect Zeomech a lot for that, even if it ends up being the wrong call, right? It's like, so I mean, hard to make that decision. Right. We we have the bird's eye view, of course, but like that's a very disciplined, high-level play that we see out of our Protoss player here. And and also, I mean, you you have to respect, you know, some of that robo-dying is just Bioice being very good and, and playing very well, right? Yeah. All right, so we got a bunch of limbs here. And charge is finished. Yeah, <laughs> but I always wanted to like do the little thing where you attack the the Nexus and then dance your limbs around while running away. Mm -hmm. and yeah, then he sees charge fire off, oh. right? <laughs> yeah, he's like, you got charged. No, nope. yeah, that's not gonna work. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but does this kill him right here? Uh, I mean, archons, but... it's like a handful of charge lots and four archons. Hmm. Yeah, these limbs are gonna melt. Yeah. But now it's just four archons, just archons. right? Yeah. I mean, Archons are really good. Oh, oh, oh those oh. vials are so good right there. Yeah. Archons. Archons are strong, but they are fat, and that was a very, very <laughs> good place to vial them at. Yeah, definitely. The it's recall take is a lot of shields on that one. pretty good there. Like, mm -hmm. uh -oh. I mean, it's also charging not, forward. Yeah. Not a good situation yeah, here, but. Oh, Archon. You know, see him make, making the best of it. Yeah, I, so I like, guess. He holds? Yeah, yeah. Archon good clean. unit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pro but but again, the, the third base is is hindered for a second time, right? And yeah. behind this bio ice on four bases, right? Yeah, there will never ever be another third for yeah. in this game. This is it. Like yep. it's like, alright, I've gotta kill you, and the it's like the service supply is double. Yeah, bio ice. Look at this supply. Fifty-four drones <laughs> just Making roaches, making lings. Is he actually? 54 guys. Oh, yeah. Pretty little drunk guy. He's just like, I'll kill you with roaches now. Uh huh. So, watch him, like, in a second. I, I'm just expecting him to fully, like, target fire these roaches on the arc on the back. Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, that. Oh, my gosh. It. Yeah, definitely, definitely frustrating here to, to fight that archon bouncing in and out, but, um,. Yeah. See you, Max. Uh, the in the front. The yeah, front. yeah. It's, just, it's just too much, sir. Yeah. It's just way too much, sir. I think Sam Max is a set two tournaments, and he's like, "Hmm, if I lose in this one, I'll know what your builds are, <laughs> probably." <laughs> and then I can play you again and like try something else. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, what's the What's the prize support for Platy Pro? Uh, Do you know? Let me check. Got it I open. The bracket still. Softlock in the chat asked about that robo positioning. So the reason that she would do it is because um <laughs> um 
is because when you make immortals out of the robo, you either have to not have a unit hold position, or every time you make an immortal, you have to move the hold position unit, hotkey the immortal, and move the hold position unit back and, and keep the door shut, right? If you have the robo in the wall, you don't have to do that, but at the cost of exactly what you saw. Um, now, what we were criticizing was that particular positioning. Like, if you're going to put it in the wall and, and trade off that convenience for that risk on the robo, you don't want to give that much surface area on it. So tucking it a little bit further back ends up being, you know, slightly safer. Um, but, you know, obviously you're you're still vulnerable to a Ling run by. So we kind of, it's actually nice that we got to bring that back because I, I mentioned it in one of the previous games and then we kind of saw why that can be bad. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what? Uh, pure, pure Zen again. By the way, trust me. <laughs> He's giving me his support. I have his blessing. All right, that's that. You read that, right? You guys see this? as I see. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. It's all about learning. All about learning. Any other stuff that we say um, or you see, it doesn't make sense. We can try to talk about that too. Spawning in the upper left from Blazer. It's our orange Protoss Zeomag. It's a cool little icon. And in the lower right from Sloppy Sports Club, it's BioIce. Our pink Zerg. Now, let's watch the journey of this probe as it endeavors to block another hatchery. Will it will it achieve its goal today? Will it achieve its goal? I never get this I don't I don't know how probes <laughs> get their probes here this fast. <laughs> like I always get there and the the Zerg already said has a hatchery, so I don't know. So did, like, did he always... take it earlier this time? Yeah, I think he did. I think so too. I'm, I'm not 100% on. That was much earlier. Is it, yeah. Was it or is it just the map? I'm not sure. I don't I'm know. I'm not sure. So like Could... I don't do that ever. So I don't right, have right, right. Hey, can we can we get a Zerg in here? Could somebody? <laughs> What's that normal? <laughs> yeah. Is there is there a GM Zerg who can let us know how this works? <laughs> oh man. All I know is I show up and there's usually there's either a thing there or there's not a thing there. And <laughs> I'm scared if there's not a thing there. And otherwise I feel fine. Exactly. The I feel fine is like that comic where the guys in the house is burning guys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but... I don't know. I For whatever reason, my, my Zerk has always been a, a good matchup. The, the only thing I can possibly attribute it to is... Um, see a pretty quick third base here out of Bioice. Um, the only thing I can attribute that matchup being like kind of more okay for me um, is that when I was very, very new to the game, like bronze new, not even laddering, I was still when I was you know terrified to ladder, uh, my girlfriend played Zerg and we we played, you know, probably well over, you know, 100 games um, just in customs, like in our house, like yelling across the, the house to one another like oh you tried to cheese me whatever um and so like i i just played pvzs for like the longest time um and so maybe i just kind of have that in my brain a little better i don't know 
some matchups are going to just make more sense to you, too. I don't know why. Yeah. Just like some people do really well in some matchups. That, like HJX does really well with PvC, too. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he tried to take credit for that, but I've been I've been good at um, PvC for much longer than he's been coaching me. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Like, no, no h -jacks. Before you showed up, believe it or not, I did know what edits were, okay? <laughs> I'm making adepts in silver, man. <laughs> Alright, so this adept is going to say, that's some lings and a queen I'm going to nope out. Just checks the drone count. Uh, see, I'm kind of brave with this, actually. Yeah. yeah. Can I get one Check kill? Does he get it? He gets yeah. one. Alright. Look at that. A ling and a drone. Mm -hmm. Work. Yeah, totally Especially worth. since I would have, I literally, I, I would have shaded my adept in. They're like, yep, there's drones here and gone home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I do too. I'm I'm way too afraid to lose it. Yeah. Or you you go full diamond and you go, okay, I'm just gonna like walk the adept into the the mineral line. Okay, see now the robo's tucked back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like this much better. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, you, you walk the adept in to check the drone count, and you shade it in to make sure there's no early layer, and you go, okay, I'm just paying for information. I don't have APM. <laughs> that, uh, I've been guilty of that from time to time. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Yep. <laughs> like, I, I, want to, I just wanted to know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your link count? It is four. Good. Good on you, buddy. <laughs> there <Yep>. you go. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you can, uh, here's a, here's a treat for making the right amount of links. Right. I'm gonna add it quickly. So the, uh, the Twilight was not delayed this game like it was in the previous one. Yeah. And Did he, uh, Oracle and the yeah. Phoenix? Okay, so we stopped at one Oracle. Yeah. So we could get the faster Twilight. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if that means we're gonna see, like, a Glaze still. Maybe? Hmm. Maybe still just dark on, so he just goes for a faster combo. A little bit of indecision there to see a mech. Um, does get three kills, and then kind of kind of wavers a little bit with the positioning of that um, second queen. I think he might have been able to squeeze out one more kill there, but I guess better safe than sorry. Pack of links sharking around the map here. Yep, yep. It's gonna be... Uh... Base gets up. It's gonna be it. Or thunder up. Yep. I. You know what I hate about StarCraft? <laughs> what do you hate about StarCraft? I hate when you build a you build a building with a probe, and there's some army unit that gets in the way, and the probe is like just gives up, and you don't know that the probe <laughs> gives up, and he goes somewhere else, and you're like, why am I supply blocked? I yeah. don't. Yeah. You're like, wait, but I built it. No. Yeah, and you go into the replay, and you see that like. The probe just hangs out for a second while a stalker's <laughs> derping around, and then yeah. he's like, forget it. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, this okay. isn't worth my time. You're not paying me enough right? for this. Exactly. All right. So let's see if this uh, Archon drop fares any better here for Zeomech. Was that a transfuse on that Overlord just there? Yep. Wow, 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 wow. Keeps uh, that Overlord from dying. I am impressed. He's like, you can't even have this overlord. No, no. You you really don't see that very often. Like that's that's like very clearly good, right? Yeah. But you just don't see that very often. Hats off to Bioice on that play there. Yeah, it's a uh, high level moves on. Higher. Ooh. That's so, yeah, pretty it, saucy. So this is a good move out here at the roaches. Bioice, wait. No. I, I thought he was gonna go across the map and like mm -hmm. pressure because like what he can do. Oh, he's gonna is he gonna drop? Yeah, I mean, he got, he got, um... Okay, so here's what he wants to do. He's gonna drop roaches in the base. He just wants that Zeomech to not make anything to deal with the middle of And that's yep. all it is. He just wants to, like, say, hey, it's roaches. And, yep. like, cause if he doesn't scout it, if this, this prism needs to be in the main, or where's the spire? It's at the third. Yeah, the spire's so, at the third. It's which is in such actually, a position that you're like not gonna get your prism in there usually. Yeah, yeah, you're you're almost never gonna scout that, right? Like the the back of the third, right there. It's you know I know I I check for spires a lot. Uh, we've got this drop coming in. Yeah, here goes. I, I almost never check that position for a spire. This is the point. Yeah, well, it's it's like right in the strategic middle of mm -hmm. like, the heart of the zerg base. So you're just right. not gonna get there because of ooh, that Good pylon shutting down four gateways. Yeah, that was quite an in-control pile on there. The immortals show up, and then the <laughs> roaches are like, Alright, get us out of good, here! 
Good stasis here on this uh, chunk of roaches here at the third. But yeah, BioWise doing a great job of just making this into a chaotic situation. Yeah, this is so annoying. If you've got a mortal like running around, there's 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 an overload in the main, there's overloads in the, in right. the natural. Roaches are being dropped everywhere. Yeah. Right? Zeomech has to like split his immortals everywhere while he's being attacked by a huge roach army in the front. And, and, and the last thing you're thinking in this moment is, does is my opponent teching to mutas behind this, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not... Yeah. It's, and and here we see five mutas in the production tab. Yeah. It's such high pressure that he's like, oh crap, if I don't make more immortals right now, I, I'll die in the next mm -hmm. round of roaches. And right. there's, there's no more roaches. This is, you know, earlier today when we were doing coaching, you know, you talked about Terrence sort of doing this this magician role, right? Like, look at my left hand, look at my left hand, and that's exactly what BioIce is doing, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, there's an Archon. Clicks down an Archon. Which, which is a lot less important against these roaches, but a lot more important when the mutas show up, right? Like, right. I mean, there are still five of them hanging out here, but having having one less is certainly in Bioice's favor. Right. There's actually so many Archons right now that if if it comes down to it, it's not it's not undoable for a mm -hmm. ZMF to be like, you know what? I've got Immortals. I can yeah. deal with roaches. I've got Archons. I can deal with here. Let's just face trade. If yeah, yeah. Trade. Fight me. <laughs> Fight me, IRL. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the so, stalkers get warped in here. Maybe. Yeah, I mean that's not enough mutas that you want to just stand there in that, right? Yeah, he doesn't have enough yet. Maybe the extra five dollars that's needed. Oh, it's like the yeah, the one phoenix just sitting over five stalkers is really yeah. nice. But now, see, look, he's just gonna yolo his army across the map. Yeah. But he misses the Zerg army. That's really unfortunate. So right. he can win a base trade. He can win a base trade mm -hmm. against this army. Not if the Zerg army starts on top of your base. Yep. Not like that. And and Bioice, I don't think, had vision. That was just very, very good game sense there to, to think, you know what? you probably be moving out right about now. I haven't seen yeah. your army in a while. Exactly. Yeah, he's like, yeah, if you if you actually try to come across and kill me, you'll lose. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now Zeomek chasing Bioice home, but this is kind of... You know, BioWise doesn't. Where? In the in the natural, oh, just oh, that gotcha, cannon. Gotcha. There's a cannon just getting infinite shields for all. <laughs> and then it then it dies because shield yeah. battery is not the answer. I mean, right. there are definitely a lot of probe kills happening right now. Yeah, no the probes are gone. That. There aren't any probes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the to be fair, there's just a distant dream. <laughs> there was there's one hiding in the gas for a bit there, but uh... yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so essentially BioIce just bought himself infinite time with that, that army chasing him around, and now I don't think... I mean, I don't know, Immortals tear down buildings fast, but... Nah, you know, BioIce has such a head start here, and, and still an economy, right? on the map all day long. Yeah. yeah, there's not even a probe, and there's no money, so... Yeah. Zeomek can't even make buildings for right. this if he wants to, so, like, the only way to win base trades like this is either you have overwhelming force, which mm -hmm. is kind of... Good army, but right. Uh, well, yeah, oh, this. Recall? Oh, yeah. you you definitely can't recall here. You, no, <laughs> you've left Zerg, but I don't think that Zeomek knows about the. Um, I don't think Zeomek knows about the the fourth base. Yeah. Well, check out all the spines. The spine crawler forest with the natural. It's like. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot true. of mortals, so maybe it would just melt really quickly. Um. There's it's just not in a winning position anymore. I, right. He right, can right. try, I guess, but he doesn't even have enough money to make a pro. Wait, yeah, there's I mean, a probe. Where's a probe? There is there's one a... probe, yeah. It's all the way over here. If, if you got a probe and a prayer, <laughs> man. <laughs> he used recall. He can't recall it. He actually has to escort it back to his base if he wants to mine again. Yeah, he... I just don't think there's any way. I mean, yeah, I know. as Zerg, all you have to do is make things, right? I yeah. I, I think from um from CMX position, not knowing that there is kind of that base left, right? If you if you thought there were a couple of drones in the main, right, and that's all, maybe this position doesn't look as terrible, but we we have the god's eye view and know that there is a, a healthy fourth base, right? I, I think he knows too. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Even without the fourth base, I think you, you know. I mean, at that point, I would I would GG out though. I don't think there's any point in. Uh, I, I think now you know, but but I think prior to this point, you don't necessarily. I don't know, man. It's like <laughs> Grandmaster. You gotta you like he just he just plays. You just play the game. You don't give There's up. You just GG. keep playing until you have no buildings. He's dancing his own units here. <laughs> it's like you don't you don't give up. You just like keep going until either you're forced out of the game or the other person makes mistakes. Because if mm. they make mistakes, you can win. 
Yeah, I it's guess that makes sense. sense. Well, GG, well played to Bioice. It was nice to kind of watch his uh, his run through that tournament, actually. Yeah. We casted every game because didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the tournament. That's the finals. Winner is yeah. Bioice. Good stuff.